Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hey guys, Ernie here, Lasers and Beyond And uh, I'm just setting up for a tumbler run I gotta do a, a sample case And um... I had been having a lot of discussions lately about leveling tumblers, okay? And um, as you can tell, I'm not prepared to do a video right now. Uh, but when we're talking about level, I don't mean this, okay? It's not what we mean. So uh, I already kind of set this up. I'm going to finish. I don't have my little deal to hold the camera out here yet. I am going to get that because I'm going to do a video on um, how to do tumblers. Um, <clears throat> but. For now, I just, while I was thinking about it, because I'm having a busy day and my brain's gone. So I wanted to just show you this, and I'll attach this on to probably the other video I'm going to do. Or I might turn it into a, a short, I don't know. But um, I am going to also do a uh, tumbler tutorial for the 40 ounce um, Stanley's knockoffs that we all love, right? I took the handle off already. But I'm going to do one of those full wraps. Well, maybe not a full wrap because the the X-Tool is slow as shit. But um, I might. I don't know. But I'm going to do a tumbler tutorial with those big tumblers on the X-Tool because I've been getting a lot of questions about how to do those on the X-Tool because they're so big. Um, and we're going to really go into leveling with that. <clears throat> but I'm outside because it's warm today. And I got to do this batch, and um, I say warm, but it's like 36. <laughs> so I'm going to turn you around and show you this. Sorry for the noise. I can't turn the fan off um, without turning the machine off. And then I turn the machine off, and the lights go away. So you just got to deal with the noise. Is this thing... Oh, man. Oh, it's not dead. Whoa! Flashbang. Uh, little magnet lights. Cool. Hook it right to the top. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, so we're going to look at this. I'm going to show you what I mean. And I'll try to be loud over the machine, okay? So, uh, here we got my tumbler, nice and dirty. My, damn it! All right, I hit a button. So, um, yeah. I, okay, not sure what button I keep hitting, but crap, that's annoying. So anyway, uh, my air compressor broke. It's just I'm not having a good time, right? Everything give me problems. Uh, I got a phone call. Hold on. Alright, phone call done. Let's see if we can try again. Huh. So, here we are. Um, I have, for those of you that don't know, I don't use the autofocus. Now, if I hit the buttons, it, the bed will come, oh my damn thing, the bed will come up and raise, right? Hit this, push it up. You know, get its measurements and then go back down. But most of us don't do that. Um, we we buy the autofocus so that we have a movable bed, and now I can move the bed with a touch of a button and not have to hand crank the thing. So anyway, I don't use that. I use one of these that I made. I got it on the internet somewhere. I have these in the group. You can download the whole pack for free. They're basically little stepper guides with measurements, right? So I know for this machine. For these tumblers, I want to be at 18 millimeters, okay? So, if I go over here to the front of my cup, or top, whatever, and I measure... You know, it's right at 17. Well, if I, it's tilted, so it's really close. i got to push it hard, but that's fine for this demonstration. And if I go over to the end, right, same thing. I got to give it a little bit, and it gets under there in the 18. So, in theory, that is level, right? That's what we call leveling your tumbler. Now, given that I've got the Pyburn uh, 4 with the upgraded uh, chuck, with the grippers, <clears throat> stability is not an issue for me, okay? I've got, if 
making sure that it's centered and squared and all that good stuff so when it spins it actually spins correctly right because if your cup is off a little bit when it spins it's gonna wobble so if you ever hear me talk about wobble that's what I'm talking about right if it's not flush up against something it'll wobble okay so this is a really good piece of equipment Costs a lot of money, I'm not saying go run out and buy it, but this is a damn good piece of equipment. This has been a godsend for me. I love this uh, rotary attachment, this chuck deal. Um, it, I gotta do a review on that one day. It's got a little hand crank thing right here. I love that, we'll, we'll go over that later. But, the reason I bring that up is so now I know it's, it's level, it's sturdy. I've got this little deal back here to hold the cup up. Uh, this is adjustable here so I can raise and lower it. I got these that are I can lock, which handles the tilt. I've already got all that stuff locked right up, right? So all I'm dealing with is the raise and lower and making now. When I first did this, this was a 18 was fine, this was 17. So I had to go and lower this and I just twirled the knob a little bit, it came down, it leveled out. Now it all matches. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about level. Okay? It has nothing to do with earth level. Now if we look. I'm, my, my, this floor in here is not level. My machine's not level because, I mean, why bother? It doesn't matter. Um, let's see if we're even, actually, it <laughs> made me a liar. It is ironically level. So, um, now my big machine behind me, the 130 watt, that some bitch is not level. It is on very unlevel ground, okay? But this one is. So when I built this floor in here, in the workshop, I made sure that this part was level over here. So we're good there. But the last thing I want to talk about with leveling, okay, even though it's level, if I can get the camera down here good enough, you're going to notice that this cup has a slight elevated middle, right? It's a little bit bulbous. So <clears throat> remember this was 18, this was 18, but I guarantee you the middle is not 18. So if I bring this guy back over, stick him there in the middle, put my stepper gauge back under, I should have set up the damn arms. All right, um, now look, we're 17, so we're stuck, okay? So, one other thing you need to make a note of, you can defocus up to several millimeters and your engraving will still be okay. So technically, yes, it's out of focus, but you'll be all right. You can go up 18, 19, 20 and your engraving is gonna be fine. I might do that in another video and show you guys with a sample cup. However, what you don't wanna do is be out of focus the opposite direction. Down, 17 is bad, 16 is bad, 15 is horrible, okay? So if you're under, is that a word? We'll call it under focus? I don't know. If you're under the requirement, it's going to make a shitty engraving. Okay? So that's why this is important because when we first just measured the top and the bottom, we got our 18, so we're good, right? So we should run this and we're good, but no, the middle is going to look like garbage. And it could even be a fact where it doesn't remove all the material or um, it's out of focus and blurry. On this machine, it wouldn't be as noticeable, but if you're on the diode or on an X-Tool or something like that, you would notice because you could actually scar the cup. The CO2 is not gonna scar the cup. Not like a diode. The diode laser beam is a little different. It's different frequency, so it, it reacts to the metal differently. So on your diode, if you're under focus like that, you will scar the cup. So now you're gonna have a beautiful engraving up here, and dingy and beautiful and it's going to look burnt in the middle so how we counteract that is we raise this back up to 18 in the middle now when we do that since there appears to be a one millimeter variance in this arc it's then going to put the top and bottom at 19 but that's okay because if we remember what i just said we can go out of focus up up, usually up to three millimeters is fine. I mean, I haven't. Other people have done. Ah, let me stand up. Other people have done the real tests, right? And tested all. I've done a few, but I don't really care. So I'm not going to waste my time doing that. But 
I know you can go up. I mean, I've, I've done on 20 on Airborne, it's fine. So, we're gonna put this back, and I'm trying to do this one-handed now, because I didn't set shit up the right way. Oops, not that button. And that button. And I moved down a little bit. There's our 18, and I went too far. Now when you're using these steppers, you, you want it to have some play a little bit. You don't want to have to force it, and then you want to be able to not go up to the next step, right? That's how you know you're good. So right now she's stuck, I can't get it, so we let her off a little bit, and there, she's good, and I'm happy with that. We run her back to the front, and we're gonna take a look, and we're probably gonna be around 19, right? So it's gonna be the same there. But now this is gonna get a good engraving, and these, while technically are out of focus a millimeter, you're not gonna notice when the engraving's done, and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so there you go. That is your, where are we at? Eight minutes, I tried to talk fast, but that is your eight minute lesson on leveling a tumbler. And it has nothing to do with little bubbles and earth levels. It has to do with the focal distance from your cup to your lazo. Okay, needs to be the same. If your focal distance is the same here as it is there across the board, minus any curvatures, then you're level and you're good. All right, guys, take it easy. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go, go, go.